Hey guys, this is the second update for October on ICP. A lot is going on, so we gotta keep coming back. So what's going on right now? Did Sears just rock pulled or ICX, formerly called Sears, did they just rock pulled? Or to put it in simple terms, did they just take your ICPs and disappeared? This is a question we're going to be asking and answering in this video. We're going to put together all the facts and see if we have a conclusion to this. What else are we going to talk about in this video? We want to talk about OpenChat and what is going on on OpenChat recently, as well as District, one of the amazing apps on ICP. So let's go guys, a lot to do here. To fully comprehend what is going on with Sears, let's go back to SNS. Um, let's get on NNS, launch part, and then we're going to see Sears right here. Click on that, and then we would notice how SNS went and exactly the amount of ICP that was raised. 150,000 ICP was raised during sns after that what happened next nothing happened now how do we know this let's go over to icp swap which is like the decentralized exchange on icp on icp swap we can see the sears token icx what we notice is no liquidity was added. Usually when projects go through SNS, they raise funds and then they add liquidity. This is like the first thing they got to do in order to protect traders, in order to make sure people are able to trade these tokens on decentralized exchanges. So no liquidity was added. We can see clearly here. It's not enough. If we think about the amount of money that was raised, then this is probably just liquidity that was added by other people. Very little. So no liquidity was added anywhere. The same thing on Sonic. No liquidity for uh, ICX. There wasn't any liquidity on Sonic. Same for ICP swap. ICP swap, not enough liquidity. Or well, even if liquidity was added, we would know because it would have to go via a proposal to add liquidity since it's already a DAO, right? So we didn't see any proposal, so no liquidity was added. The 150,000 ICP was just sitting there in the treasury today or recently there was a proposal let's go back to nns do vote on proposals do icx and we would notice there was a proposal to transfer treasury funds transfer treasury funds the software development service provider pens LDA seeks funding from the ICX SNS DAO to advance the growth and development of the ICX platform. This proposal for funding aims to allocate 150,000 ICP from the ICX DAO treasury to the developer organization. The fund will be utilized to cover the operational cost of the service provider as it delivers the roadmap mentioned below. The funding is expected to span 8 month duration, providing support until the end of June 2024. So this like a breakdown of the budget, which we don't want to go into, but basically the aim is to develop the platform Sears that has just been there. It hasn't been developed. It hasn't moved forward. 
ever since SNS or even before SNS, not much happened there. Not, not, not any change or update happened on the platform. So now this proposal right here is already executed as we can see here, it's already executed, which means what? Which means the whole 150K ICP that was raised during SNS has been moved for the development of the app, right? This is very questionable. Even if some funds were to move, not everything should move or even the app is being developed, it should probably be taking place in parts, which means that funds could be moving in parts. So people see the progress and this will probably bring trust. But right now, the whole thing, the whole treasury has been emptied, guys. Emptied, totally emptied not a single thing in the treasury and this is supposed to be a DAO, right it's supposed to be a DAO. the whole thing the whole funding gone people raise these icps like this is the money of hard-working people they raise the ice these icps and they just gone from the treasury now let's just assume they really want to develop the app which we're going to see in eight months, right? Uh, in eight months, we should start to see the changes. If not, we would conclude this is totally a scam. But so far, there are a lot of red flags. Like if this is for real, not the whole funds should go, not the whole treasury should move at once. So this is the first red flag and it's a clear sign there's a problem somewhere. We don't want to say it's a scam totally. It could still be for development, but do, being done in this way is not assuring to community members. It's not assuring at all. So people already conclude that this is a scam. This is a scam. This is what people are concluding. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out very soon. So let's not conclude yet. But the way it's done is problematic. Next, let's look at Open Chat and what has been going on. There has been a lot of updates on Open Chat recently. But we want to focus on one thing or one update that is very remarkable has been price messages. As we can see already, we see messages that come with uh, tokens. You can see right here in Open Chat General, these messages come with tokens. They're called price messages. How do they work? Um, so we have this gift over here. Uh, if we tap on that, we can see an option to choose the token that we want to send. And let's say we chose a uh, ghost. If we choose ghost tokens, then uh, there's an option to input the total amount of ghost tokens, an optional message, and then the number of winners is up to 100 maximum. And then we have the option to make it random so that people receive random amounts or equal that people receive the same amount the hundred people and then the time it should take one hour it means after one hour if not all the tokens are received they'll probably come back to the sender one hour one day or one week a long time and then send so if we notice over here, I did uh, a ghost prize message here and it's already finished uh, for a hundred people. And if it's still open, you would see the option to claim it. 
and this is something really interesting and exciting that is going on on open chat right now and this is creating a lot of interactions and interest in the app people are coming in from all over and people are moving about from one group or one community to another to get prize messages and this has been going on all these days who probably will probably keep going on people are really interested in this kind of thing it's very similar to wechat which is uh an app that is on web 2 uh they have red envelopes that are being sent in a similar way only this is happening on web 3 right here on open chat which is totally different next let's go over to district district what is going on on district app uh recently we also had some new updates on district um we have districts with an s child like communities on district districts and if you open it in discover here we see a lot of districts that have been created these are basically like groups where people of the same interest can get together to share ideas um, chat just talk and post stuff that they're interested in um, we created a district recently so here you have my district which is uh, or which are the districts that you've created created just one and not much is going on but uh, this basically uh, really communities where people get together chat about similar ideas and there is uh, option to create more if you create more they will all appear here on districts and if you look on the right over here you would notice new districts uh, if you join then your joining that district for instance here vietnam if we join that sc join here we are on vietnam district but of course we probably don't want to be here because um it's in a language we don't understand so what do we do we can just leave district so this was like just a pick in and then out <laughs> and then everybody's like who was that oh left anyways and we have more more we can view all districts which are a lot so that's uh like a huge update on district recently and then one other thing we want to talk about is uh, recently district did an airdrop of the pot nft pot nfts are district's own nfts and there are ten thousand in number maximum supply and these nfts are gradually given to districts uh community members for free and it's been ongoing for a long time now and recently we had some nfts and these went to those who were involved in the uh, tips that had been introduced on district as well uh tipping system something awesome we don't want to get into it anyways i was lucky enough to get some nfts on district some awesome nfts and what i want to do is just very quickly what i want to do is i want to give a, one of these nfts to any lucky person who would come in under this post on district so once i post this video on district you can come in with your principal id which is over here just need to copy it if you do view you can copy it and then send it a comment under this post 
and then I would randomly select someone and share a part with them. If you want to, if you want to be part of that, just comment. That's it. Simple. I'll randomly pick someone and do a giveaway of one part. I feel appreciative that I was lucky enough to get some parts because I was part of the tipping system. That's it. That's it about this 2nd October update on ICP. The major one, the major one that we just talked about, this is breaking news, is 150,000 ICPs left ICX treasury to developers who would develop the app. Supposedly, that's what we know for now. But we have questions as to why the whole treasury should be emptied emptied guys totally emptied for development not in part there's nothing for liquidity on dexes nothing nothing of the whole amount that was raised during sns all left for development what happens to the token what happens to the investors who trusted this um token or project and invested their icps what happens this is something really serious this is something divinity should look into because it brings about the question of sns sns yes like sns are they trustworthy project are they really trustworthy projects because when we look at and a project like EMC that tried SNS three times but failed. But then Sears went through SNS with ease and then this happens. We don't know what would happen with the other projects, but this brings a lot of questions to the table. A lot of questions. So what do you guys think? Do you think Sears scammed? Or do you think we should just wait to really confirm this? That's it. Thanks for watching and see you again in another slice.